watching Day or Night X. X is for exotics. And this question I got, um, I wasn't even really sure I wanted to answer the question because this is a very trivial topic. I mean, it's not really something, unless I'm in your house and in your situation um, and I've experienced what you've experienced, it's really hard for me to say my methods are, are is what you should have done for your animals to, to not die you know so this is not a video saying what I'm what I do is is why my animals don't die because that's not true I do have animals that die just like every other uh, exotic uh, pet keeper um, the, the title of this video is simple somebody asked me a question about their animals dying and at a very frequent rate now we've seen and there's been a lot of youtubers that have had this in the past uh, and I there, there were a few channels in the past I remember um, it was one tarantula guy I, I remember he just was having deaths just one after another and everybody was really riding his ass about it because they were you know they was like it has to be your fault because you know you know you have so many deaths but this particular person uh, had a lot of deaths because he had a shitload of tarantulas and that's gonna be my very first point the more animals you have in your care the more deaths you're gonna have in a short period of time potentially doesn't mean it's gonna happen all the time but I have run across you know months where I've had quite a few deaths you know ranging from my tarantulas to maybe a ball python that doesn't mean I'm doing something wrong it just means my percentage you know the law of percentages are in place there the more things you have the more opportunities for those things to kinda of go away when I had one or two ball pythons you know I I didn't have any deaths. Obviously, I had two ball pythons, you know. But when you start breeding and you have, you know, 30 ball pythons and you have, you know, a whole host of, you know, babies in your care, same with leopard geckos, you know, if I'm hatching out 12, you know, to 15 babies, not all those babies are going to make it. If you get tarantulas, you're going to have some mature males that don't live very long, they're not going to make it. And then we have the very common issue of animals just passing away for whatever reason does not mean you are doing something wrong does not mean I'm doing something wrong or anyone uh, so that's my very first point you know if you're if you're having a, if you have a big collection this is happening um, yeah I mean I, it, it could be an issue you know you, you might run into some stuff and that's gonna lead me to point number two where are you getting your information so if I were you in the way this person is describing it um, they've had one animal they have a small collection meaning one animal at a time maybe let's just say ball python one ball python you've had it you got it as a sub adult and it lasted a year on you the next year you got a, a baby ball python it lasts you a year and a half on you then you say you know what I want to get a big one you got an adult ball python and it lasted a year and a half on you you know if that's the case then there's probably some issues going on there with the way you're taking care of them and if that's the case I say go back to the drawing board start over do not get another animal until you are completely 100% sure you know every single thing you can learn about that animal and even once that happens that's gonna be like kinda of your wall then you need to go beyond that and go into the realm of I need to know even more about it because once you think you know everything trust me something's gonna bite you in the ass because you can never know everything so never stop learning that that's that's the, another key. There are things out there that happens, and and uh, you may think you know everything, and you know there could be better ways of keeping your animal than you're doing it, and that will extend your animal's life. And maybe you have a friend down the street who has the exact same setup that you had, and you kind of learned off that person, and you set your stuff up exactly the same way that person did. You fed them the same way that that person did, um, and you know your lighting is the same way but the problem is is that just because somebody is doing something a certain way they're doing something that works for them and their animal seems to be thriving that does not necessarily mean that they they're doing everything right that animal might just be doing that just thriving and not being cared for properly just because that animal is alive doesn't mean what they're doing is correct that's a very important point to make just because you see somebody keeping an animal does that doesn't mean that they're doing it hundred percent the right way um, and the right way meaning that's that's not a biased term that's not me saying uh, the right way is is the animal happy is it eating is it well maintained are you cleaning up after it are you trying to make sure that animal is 
living under the best conditions possible and then you have a hundred percent basically on your part you're doing a hundred percent of all you're capable of doing to take care of that animal I would say this as well will lead me to my next point it, you know going back to just getting some basic knowledge just start over get yourself a book learn as much as you can from that book and read it several times before you get another one and make sure when you're doing that you're not only just relying on one source so that book is great but go on to YouTube find yourself communities of people who are, are have similar collections to what you're expiring to be so if, you, if you're thinking you want a lot of animals a diverse collection then look at videos of people who maintain that kind of diverse collection if you're looking to have just one ball python find a reputable channel and learn as much as you can about that one ball python same with tarantulas same with anything that you're looking to find be knowledgeable first so I would say my last point is this if you're gonna own animals they're gonna die I have had animals in my collection obviously they have passed away like I said sometimes it's my fault when you when you grow up learning about animals like I have I started keeping exotic animals when I was like five years old and I've made a lot of mistakes on the way and I I mean I've been doing it for, since 1985 when I was when I was five years old so it's been 30 years plus of me keeping you know exotic animals I've, I've never I, I haven't gone too long without ever keeping one so you have to understand there's a lot of experience that comes into play there it's not just about picking up the animal and being like okay you know here we go everything's gonna be okay there's a lot of a lot of trial and error but a lot of that can be reduced if you're uh, seeking out the right channels of getting the information you need and being prepared and been set up from day one from the get-go of and being completely uh, comfortable with yourself to know that when something goes wrong it's not just it's not all on you something's going on and you just need to figure out what it is rather you know and that's where vets come in that's where people around you come in um, surround yourself with people that that you can talk to and be and say you know hey look they have similar animals as you there's you know all my animals I, there's somebody out there I can say hey look this is going on and what do you think about it now I've gotten to the point where I pretty much know what's going on but again that's through experience and when I don't know I'm not afraid to ask you know so that that's one thing but uh, you're gonna run into stuff and like I said even now I run into problems um, my snow corn snake that just passed away I, I know I can't prove this but I feel like it's partially my fault because I kept it on Aspen its entire life a, a particular brand of Aspen and then I switch just I don't know where to another brand and I really wasn't too sure about this brand of Aspen, but I ended up getting it anyway. And, um, you know, it was because I was trying to save money and it was a cheaper brand. And he ended up dying like a month later and just wasn't the same from the moment I put it in there. And that's, you know, I feel like that's my fault. Well, is that the reason why he died? I mean, it's hard to prove that. He died unexpectedly just out of nowhere. So I don't know. I just know I'm not using that Aspen again. And that's a good example of something happening that was kind of out of my control that I'm trying to make better of you know the situation with I, I learned something and has to be consistent that's what I learned stay consistent if something's work, working then if it's not broken don't fix it that's that type of deal even if it's about saving money um, I feel like if I have to start to get and save money then I'm doing the wrong things um, I can't look at it that way if I can't afford it then I, I can't afford the animal so you that's something to think about um, and like I said this stuff happens but if it's happening frequently and there's an animal that lives for 30 years and you are keeping it alive for only one or two years, then you know there's something that you're doing wrong there. And you have to figure that out. You have to figure out what you're doing wrong and you have to do it before you get another animal. So my advice to you is do not get another animal until you figure out everything you possibly can about that animal and talk to other people and feel comfortable with yourself first so you can make sure that that animal is cared for properly because that's the number one thing is to make sure that animal is taken care of properly so I hope that helps you go into the YouTube community on Facebook social media outlets and uh, find out more information don't this is just advice on my end other people have uh, tidbits that will help along with this so I, I encourage you to go do that and that'll do it for this one I see you all on the next episode if you're not subscribed please subscribe hit the bell below so you don't miss an episode an episode you can get notif notified whenever I drop one. Be you and be genuine. See you next time.